Hey guys, how's it going? It's a beautiful day out here in Malibu. I decided to be spontaneous today, do a little Q&A finally. So here are some questions you guys have asked and I'm ready to answer. Let's get started. Question number one, what is your ethnicity? So I'm German Nicaraguan. My dad is German and my mom is Nicaraguan. I was born in Germany and I lived there until I was seven. So German is actually my first language. A lot of people don't know that. Next question, how many languages do you speak? So I'm actually trilingual. I only speak to my dad in German, thankfully, because if not, I would have definitely forgotten how to speak it. It's a very difficult language. And then Spanish, because my mom's from Nicaragua. But yeah, English, Spanish, and German. What's your favorite hobby? So I'm very adventurous. I like to go hiking. I like to go swimming. I like to go skydiving. I've only been once, but it was very fun. I like to make music actually, so that's super fun. I like to be adventurous and just like outdoors and do like sporty stuff and swimming. Honestly, anything. I'm the type of person that if you want to do something and nobody else is down, you call me and I'm probably going to be down. So if you want to do something spontaneous and fun, hit me up. I'm always down. Did you go to Miami-Dade College? Yes, I actually did go to Miami-Dade College for my undergrad and then I graduated from FIU with my bachelor's in marketing and a minor in psychology. How did you get into modeling? So a lot of people actually don't know this. My mom was a model and she always wanted me to model and I always wanted to go to school first and learn and get that out of the way before I started modeling because I just had a feeling that if I started modeling first, I would never finish school. So I got my degree and then I started taking modeling very seriously and my mom was super, super excited just because I was against it before because I feel like if your parents want you to do something, it kind of makes you not want to do it. Um, but then I was like, hmm, this is kind of cool and like, you meet a lot of people and you get to travel a lot. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. And I love it now. So I'm really, really fortunate and I'm um, super excited to see what is to come. What's the hardest part about modeling? So I feel like a lot of people think that modeling is very easy and it's just a very glamorous job and it's not a lot of work and it's actually not like that. There's a lot of factors that go into it. It's a lot of networking. It's a lot of uh, no's. You have to be very comfortable with no's because even if you're established, you're still going to get no's. Um, there's always pretty girls around you. You have to be extremely confident and just know that you have your own unique look and you can't compare yourself to other people. I think that's another main thing. Um, also, you have to be very self-disciplined because you're kind of your own boss. You do have your modeling agency and your mother agency, but it is pretty much entrepreneurship and you just have to be very on top of everything and just, you know, on your shiz. I would just say, stay true to yourself, stay confident, don't give up, and um, do your best. What's your height? So, I'm actually 5'9". Some people think that I look a lot shorter on Instagram. I'm not really sure why, but yes, I am 5'9". I'm proud. How do you stay so fit? It's 80% eating good. I eat very clean. I don't really eat junk food. I don't work out like a maniac, but I try to work out at least three times a week and stay consistent with it. I think consistency is key with everything. Eating good consistently and working out consistently and drinking a lot of water is also very important to me get those three down you should be good to go are you vegan so no I'm not a vegan I am a pescatarian I eat fish and seafood but I don't eat meat don't really eat cheese I try to stay away from dairy dairy is also very fattening and not good for you um, if you look up how it's made it's kind of gross so that's why I don't eat it but um, I'll cheat once in a while I'm not gonna lie because cheese is so good and vegan cheese just doesn't taste the same but I try to stay away from cheese and meats, anything that's really hard to digest. I like to eat more lean stuff. Eventually I'm probably gonna try to stop eating fish because of all the mercury and all the plastic in the oceans. Definitely not the safest either, but I feel like at this point, it's like, what do we even eat? <laughs> I love to drink smoothies. I think smoothies are super yummy. I think in the mornings, you should start your mornings by eating some fruits or drinking some water, just taking it easy and then have like a solid lunch and then just take it easy for dinner. You don't wanna be eating past eight or you don't wanna be eating anything too heavy because then it's just gonna sit in your stomach. Maybe just have like a nice little salad for dinner and then go ham for lunch. That's usually what I do. 
beach vibes or mountain vibes. So I'm from Miami, so I'm used to the beach, but just being in California, the mountains are so beautiful and I really like hiking, but I kind of feel like when you're used to something, you don't really take advantage of it. Like me living in Miami, I never really go to the ocean. And now that I'm here, I want to go swimming and the water's too cold. So I don't know, it's just one of those things, but I think, um, hmm. I think they're two completely different vibes. I don't really know which one I would choose over the other, but I'm gonna have to go with beach vibes just because I like the ocean. It's refreshing and it cleanses you and it just like makes you feel magical, you know? Is astrology BS? So, if you probably ask any girl, she's gonna say no because girls are just really into astrology. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to say it's not BS. I believe in it. I don't believe everything. I just feel like certain signs have certain characteristics that fall under the same umbrella, if you know what I mean. For example, Aquariuses, we're very imaginative, we're very independent, we're very chill. Um, we're not really too problematic. We're just kind of in our own world and just like a good vibe, you know? And I feel like all Aquariuses I've met are like that. I don't know and I know a lot of people who date the same signs and I don't know I think it's real I just next question what's your skincare routine so I just always try to take off my makeup at night I think that's very important you never want to be sleeping with your makeup um I just use makeup wipes which I don't know if that's even like good for you but I usually use the Neutrogena makeup wipes to take off the majority of my makeup and then I'll go in with my cellar and like those little round pads and just like take off the excess makeup and then I'll just use uh, like a face wash I like to use black African soap it has like a pump um, I forgot what brand it is uh, I think I want to say Shea Moisture or something I don't even know if that's like a good brand or not but it works for me and I like it and it does take off the rest of your makeup if you haven't taken it off with the micellar and the, um, the wipes already so I like to do that and then I'll moisturize with Kiehl's. Kiehl's has like a really good moisturizing cream. Um, they have like a water-based one because I don't like to use oils on my face because it makes me break out. Sometimes I'll use this little um, like salicylic acid. I think that's how you say it, salicylic acid. And um, I put it on my face if I have any like blemishes or anything. And it just kind of like evens out my skin and like dries out my pimples and just makes my skin all radiant and beautiful. But I don't do that too much because it's an exfoliant and you should only do it a few times a week. But yeah, I keep it pretty simple. I don't like to use too many products because then my skin like freaks out. So I try to keep it simple and just take off your makeup. I think that's that's the main thing. If you're not doing anything, just don't put on makeup, chill, and just like take care of your skin and give it some time to breathe. But that's it, nothing too crazy, just, you know, basic stuff. What's your favorite holiday? So I actually like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is definitely my favorite holiday. I like Thanksgiving because it's all about people and giving thanks and appreciation and not really about gifts. I feel like the majority of the holidays are like very gift oriented. Like you have to like give a gift or, you know, people are expecting things. I feel like Thanksgiving, you just bring food and you sit together and you give things and, you know, it's just great company and food. And I think that's just the, the best holiday, honestly, in my opinion. I don't know. I also like Thanksgiving because you give back. So a lot of people will go to homeless shelters or do some type of charity and give back and uh, feed people. So I think just feeding people and food and, and good company, I think that all combined is just so beautiful. So yeah, favorite holidays, Thanksgiving. Who's your idol? So I actually love Wonder Woman. I love what she stands for. I love that she's a powerful woman and she stands for peace and equality and she's just so strong and powerful. And, beautiful so um i love wonder woman she was actually my little like uh instagram picture for a really long time and then i ended up changing it but she's still the background on my phone and i absolutely adore her so yeah love wonder woman are you always as positive um no i'm actually not always as positive um i think being positive is a mindset you kind of have to i don't want to say force yourself but you have to bring yourself back to this positive space even when you are feeling negative and just know that 
things happen and life happens and you don't have control all the time but just bringing yourself back and centering yourself and just knowing that nothing lasts forever is kind of helpful but um, I definitely have times where I'm feeling low and I'm feeling down and I'm feeling discouraged and um, feels like nothing is going right and um, yeah I definitely have some really tough times but I always try to um, you know pray on it I have crystals that I buy from the crystal store I try to manifest and I just try to get myself out of this funk that I'm in sometimes um, just because you know we're human and it's natural but I try for the most part to be positive and um, have positive thoughts and I just feel like the words that you speak and the thoughts that you think have a lot to do with how your life is gonna go. So if you have a lot of negative thoughts and you speak a lot of negative words, um, odds are you're probably gonna have a negative life. You're gonna have negative things happen to you because you're just attracting that energy. So just try to stay positive and um, just try to pray, honestly. Even if you're not, I'm not really religious, but I believe in a higher power, I believe in the universe and um, I just think you should surround yourself with positive people and take a deep breath sometimes. I feel like especially social media is very intimidating sometimes. I feel like you see people doing all these things and living this life and half of the time it's not even realistic but we just feel like we have to live up to the standard just because everybody's doing so well and everybody's so wealthy and everybody's successful but in real life people's lives aren't even really like that so you're comparing your life to something that's unrealistic some people do live that lifestyle but a lot of people are just pretending to live that lifestyle to impress people that they don't even like so I don't know what the, what the deal with that is but just try to not compare yourself to other people focus on your things you know try to get ahead in life and just take it step by step I think sometimes we're too focused on the bigger picture and like intimidated by like how much work we have to do to get there and sometimes you just have to sit down and be like okay like what's the next step like how am I gonna get here as opposed to like oh like getting here is so stressful you just have to be like okay this is gonna take me there that's gonna take me there and that's like baby steps and if you're one percent better every day it's gonna make a difference so just be easy on yourself but also you know move your butt because nothing comes from nothing oh sheesh it's hot in here would you make a German speaking video? So yes, I would be super down to make a German speaking video. Maybe that'll be one of my next YouTube videos. Um, you can ask me some things to say in German and I'll happily say them. I'm not sure you guys will understand, but it's definitely gonna be cool to hear. So yes, I'm down to make a German video. Last question, what qualities do you look for in a man? So, um, loyalty is number one. Um, I think mental and financial stability are extremely important. I think they're equally important. Maybe mental stability is a little more important because that's just like, like you can, you can always make money, but like getting out of the crazy is, is, is a little hard. So yeah, definitely both of those. You have to be smart. I like a smart guy and I like a guy to pick my brain. And adventurous. I like to do adventurous things. I want to be with a guy who's down to do whatever, like go hiking. Like I said, I like to skydive. Um, bungee jumping sounds a little crazy, but I think I would be down to do it. Um, but just somebody who's not scared to do anything and um, just fun and, and funny. Funny. I need a funny guy because I like to laugh and uh, maybe somebody who's sarcastic because I'm very sarcastic and I feel like I need a guy that's sarcastic so he doesn't take things personally. Uh, sometimes I feel like my sarcasm goes a little overboard. <laughs> I just come off as rude. So I need a guy who has um, enough of a sense of humor to understand that my sarcasm is harmless and then maybe just throw a little sarcasm back. And I feel like you have to be very smart to be funny and sarcastic because it's just not gonna be funny it's not if you're not smart you know I don't know it's just how I feel <laughs> I don't know okay guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching I hope you liked my little Q&A and if you liked it subscribe and like and comment if you want um, also follow me on my other platforms I'm gonna leave them in the bio and um, comment if you want to see any other videos or if you want any more questions um, I might do another Q&A, so just let me know. Bye, guys. Love you.